So how do we simplify large radicals? You may be familiar with simplifying small radicals when we have something like the square root of 20. You want to simplify that. Well, we can notice that that's the square root of 4 times 5. And we have this radical product rule, which says that this is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. We can break it into two radicals, and that's just 2 times the square root of 5. Okay, well, what if we have a larger one? For example, what if we have the square root of 672? Now, you might look at that, you might, might not see any perfect squares hiding in there. It's not so obvious. So what we've got to do is we've got to break it up. We can start by just exploring the perfect squares. 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Do any of those multiply into 672? Uh, or we can go ahead and factor this into prime factors. And we're going to use a little factor tree. So this is 2 uh, times 336. And we might see, okay, that's going to be divisible by, oh, no, that's divisible by 3. So that'll be 11, 2, 112. How about we break that into 2? That's 56. We got another 2 in there. That's 28. And this is actually going to be 4 times 7. I see that, so I'm going to write that as. 2 times 14, and 14 is running out of room here. 2 times 7. All right, in the end, what do we have? We've got a whole bunch of prime factors, and so we've got the prime factors 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It took all sideways there, and we end up with what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2s. So 5 twos is going to give us 2 to the 5th. And we have a single 7 left over there. So what that means is we have, oh, I missed a 3 there. Don't miss a 3. So now we have this broken up into its prime factorization. We can call this 2 to the 4th. And we want to pull out an even exponent because 2 to the 4th can be square rooted. And all these leftovers, and a 2 times 3 times 7, stay behind. And that's going to give us uh, the square root of 2 to the 4th is 2 squared. And 2 times 3 times 7 is just 6 times 7, which is 42. And so this is 4 root 42. So really what this was back here was... 16, this is just square root of 16 times the square root of 42. And so if you check it out, 16 times 42 is 672. But by factoring it, we see how many 4s can be pulled out in that 16. All right. So now we can factor small radicals, and we can factor large radicals. And that's how we can do it.